your goal has always been to make us a multi-planetary species. Yeah. To establish a colony on Mars. Tonight, today, the unveiling of Starship, is that a turning point in that mission? Yeah, I think this is the first time we have uh, real hardware of something that is capable uh, with a little evolution of, of being something that could create a self-sustaining city on Mars and a base on the moon. And Absolutely. You, you said tonight that you might be flying people in a year in this thing? If the development continues to improve exponentially, then I think uh, we could we could be sending people to orbit before the end of next year. Mm -hmm. You know, within a year approximately. But SpaceX hasn't put a human in space yet. How We're, are you guys going to do this in a year? Well, we will be putting people into orbit soon. We will be transporting astronauts for NASA in probably, I don't know, three or four months to the space station. Yeah, on that point, uh, NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine tweeted yesterday saying that yes. he was very excited about the event today, but he also said, quote, commercial crew is years behind schedule and it's time to deliver. Did you take Did you that? say commercial crew or SLS? He said commercial oh, crew. Oh, okay, jeez. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> interchangeable. <laughs> no, but how do you respond to that? And did you take that as a dig? Um, well, I mean, first of all, everything in aerospace is years behind, okay? It's really a question of, relatively speaking, which one is more late. Mm -hmm. um, um, and so most of the work that re is required from now through a uh, flight of NASA astronauts is um, a, a long series of safety reviews. So it's, it's not really hardware related, um, and it's really going as fast as we can make it go. If there's some way to, to make it go fast, I would make it go faster. Let's talk about funding. You've said in the past that Starship would cost between two and ten billion dollars. You still looking at that price tag? <laughs> I think it's you actually, laugh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a big range. Um, I, I mean, I think it's probably closer to uh, two or three than it is to ten. Is that because of the switch to steel? The switch to steel is quite is fundamental. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's. Literally, that might be the best design decision I've ever made. I can't think of a better one. The steel is lighter than the carbon fiber uh, solution, uh, or lighter than an aluminum lithium solution, and costs 2% as much. The climate crisis. We've seen protests all over the globe this month, mostly led by young people like Greta Thunberg. Yeah. Does the public outcry, does that increase um, the urgency for what you guys are doing here? Well, I mean, I really view what we're doing here as making life multi-planetary as opposed to escaping Earth. I mean, I think like 99% of our resources should be on making sure that the future on Earth is good. But I think at least 1% of our resources should be uh, on making life multi-planetary and ex extending consciousness out to, to other planets, both for the, the defensive reason of uh, preserving the light of consciousness into the future, as well as uh, the, the adventure, the excitement. I find personally more motivating than the defensive uh, argument. Mm -hmm. So you prefer to be an optimist rather than a pessimist? I mean, I think excitement and adventure and uh, a sense of possibility about the future are incredibly important. Uh, otherwise, why live?